Okay, so we've just reached the next petrol station and look at this queue. The petrol station's way over there and it's just all the way down. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 279 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. Good morning Bumblebee. Good morning Nikos. <laughs> Hello, good morning. We're here uh, in a beautiful little camp next to a river in the Andes Mountains in Argentina. Whee! Yes, we had actually a really cold night. It was actually a really, really cold night. Yes, yes. Surprisingly cold. But we survived it like real warriors. <laughs> yeah, we zipped our sleeping bags together for survival. <laughs> but now the sun's out and it's a new day and it's warming up. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we are going to be making our way up through San Martin de los Andes, through Junín de los Andes, before heading away from the mountains, up on the route of 40, towards Zapala and if we do well enough we might even make it onto the next page. So normally it was our mission on this leg to reach Santiago in four days but it's day two now and we just checked and we still have 950 miles to go. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so we'll see how far we can get today um, see if we can catch up a little bit distance. Yes, and we have to pack up everything and it's already nine o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. Look at this, what a view in the morning, hey? Beautiful. There's some fish jumping up out of the water here. <laughs> cool. And we saw a whole family of parakeets up in the tree as well. Beautiful wildlife here. And last night we were joined by this family from Brazil. Curitiba. <laughs> from Curitiba. Curitiba. In their VW Combi with a rooftop tent. There's five of them inside there. Hi guys. <laughs> nice. Nice to meet you. Ciao, ciao. Yeah. No falls in the morning. Yes. It's always a really tough start. First, first hundred meters is always like, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, ready to rock and roll? Vamos. Vamos. <laughs> what a nice camp, eh? Oh, so cool, peaceful, a little bit cold, but yeah. Very nice and quiet. Yeah, that's what we said yesterday. We said, oh, we've got to find ourselves a camp by the river. <laughs> yeah, and luckily we made it happen. Or better, I Overlander made it happen. I love this app, really. It's so amazing. Yeah, thanks, I Overlander. <laughs> yes. What oh. are they doing here? What? What is he doing? He's uh, scraping the whole road. No okay. Yeah. But here we go, back on tarmac. Yes. I like it. Another beautiful lake road this morning. We passed by a lot of lakes in the afternoon yesterday uh, because this ride here is actually called the Seven Lakes 
road and I think this is the last of the lakes coming up to this town ahead San Martin de los Andes on the other side yeah and the lakes are just huge all of them and this one as well I just can't believe it like how what a scale we are talking about here yeah it's not the seven ponds drive <laughs> and the way these roads just hug the cliffs around them is just what an amazing ride yeah but it's a very popular route as well so yesterday we saw a lot of tourists a lot of tourist towns it was really busy <laughs> and then sometimes you wish you would be back in the desert yeah. alone <laughs> yeah where no one else wants to go <laughs> yeah. so here we go san martin de los andes we've got a little marina here that's cute yeah nice so there's a petrol station coming at the end of the town that will be our first stop for today because bumblebee is thirsty <laughs> What a cute place! Yeah, and I think it's quite historic. Look at this building here. Look at that. Crazy building. So right here then. To the right here, yep. Look at all these buildings here. How cool. Here, look on this side. Yeah, you've got some chalet style buildings. You've got some traditional old buildings. What a beautiful place. Wow, that was crazy. We went to two petrol stations in this town and both of them had queues going for maybe one kilometer of people waiting to fill up. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm just wondering what's that about, you know? I have no idea. What is that about? It's crazy. I've never seen such a queue for a petrol station. So there's another petrol station about 20 miles up the road out of town. So we're just going to carry on through and go yeah. to that one instead. Fingers crossed for that one. Yeah. But you can see this area is just massively busy. A lot of people coming to this area, a lot of tourists. Yeah, busy roads. Busy roads. Look, here's another petrol station here. And like, there's a huge queue of cars here, but it doesn't seem like anyone's actually filling up. So I don't know if there's some sort of petrol shortage or something. I don't know, look, people are even standing outside their cars. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So we just joined the queue in the next town, which is called Junín de los Andes. And uh, yeah, it looks like there's queues at every single petrol station. So uh, I think we're just going to have to wait in the end. I mean, the petrol station is up where those lights are. So we've probably got about 10 or 15 cars in front. So I think we'll just, we'll just wait, eh? Well, it's crazy! <laughs> Absolutely crazy! It's mental! I don't understand! <sighs> yeah. Well, time for a break then. Okay, so disaster. We just got to the pump and they said they didn't have super. Um, they only have diesel apparently. So I think they've run out. So we're going to have to uh, make our way to the next petrol station, I guess, and uh, try our luck there. They said there's another petrol station in town one kilometre up the road, Axion. So we'll have to go and probably wait in another queue over there. Okay, so we've just reached the next petrol station and look at this queue. The petrol station's way over there and it's just all the way down. So, we were having a little talk about the route and then Nikos was telling us that they had some bad dirt road sections on the Argentinian side up to Santiago as well. There's a pass over to Chile which is just coming up here and uh, the Chilean side is going to be a lot of an easier ride, it's going to save us about a day. 
So I think we'll cross over to Chile instead. So Nikos has his spare fuel on the side and he's given us a couple of litres just so we can get over to the border, make it over to the other side. And from there it should be a little bit easier. Okay, vamos a la Chile! Okay, ready for you. How beautiful! How beautiful! There's a huge volcano in the background. It's like a perfect cone volcano. I mean, I didn't really expect that the pass would be that nice. <laughs> and the best thing is no traffic. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, okay. Should I jump off? Oh. I think we'll go in the middle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are like broken and stuff. Oh my god! Wow, that's crazy. We're getting closer and closer to this massive volcano. So apparently this volcano is called Volcano Lanin. What a beauty, hey? Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. And I think there's snow all on top of it. Snow and ice because it's just that tall. Look at it. It's towering wow. above everything else. I think it's our first proper volcano that we've seen here in South America so far. It's very, very cool. Oh, run out of tarmac. Uh oh. Whoa. What's a little bit of sliding as well, no? Ah, it is a little bit sandy, maybe. Should we um... air down the tires, hey? Yes. I guess we should, yeah. Yeah. Look at all these beautiful, crazy trees on this road. It's crazy because we didn't see this tree at all in Argentina. Absolutely nowhere. Nowhere. Uh, and then suddenly we come up to this pass and this tr this tree's everywhere. But yeah, Ooh. it's pretty it's pretty soft here. It's oh, a bit man. sandy to be honest. Yeah. Which is not too great. No. Yeah. Really not too great. Oh my god. Yeah. But I think it's less than the dirt road in Argentina so I think it's a good decision that we yeah that dirt road up in the north of Argentina near Mendoza is notoriously a bad section so I think we were faced with a shorter bad section here or an incredibly long bad section up there but I'm pretty sure the ground here is um, volcanic ash oh. that's why it's all sandy I think it's from the volcano right here you think so yeah absolutely that's cool because look at the colour of it, it's like yeah. a, a, a sort of grey, dark grey sand. Come on Bumblebee, <laughs> come on tyres. You can do it, I believe in you. Well, it may be bumpy, but look at this volcano ahead. Wow. I love volcanoes. I love volcanoes so much. Oli and me, we did a Indonesian volcano tour. And we visit, I think, five volcanoes in like one week. <laughs> cool. A little unexpected surprise from our change of route, eh? Hey? Yeah, I'm really happy actually that we took this route now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a nice surprise, eh? Hey? Okay, bad news. Nikos' tire is flat. <sighs> yeah, totally flat. What the heck? <clears throat> uh, in, inner tube. Ah, uh, you, you have inner tube? Yeah. Okay, we're going to have to figure out what to do. We're going to use our inflator, see if we can put some air in it, and see if we can continue to the next town. <laughs> no, it's like zero PSI. It's not even showing a PSI. Why not? Uh, where's the next town? This one here's the next town, I think. Let me see. There's nothing before. Okay, so inflating the tires was a failure. So actually, the border is not far ahead. So we are going to try and see, or Nikos is going to try and see if he can ride to the border. Uh, and then we can see what to do at the border, whether we continue, try to go to the next town, or if we ask them to call for a truck and pick us up. Let's see how he gets on anyway. Nikos is going to go first. 
and then we'll follow behind okay we've made it to the border is a uh, is uh okay or no uh. yep okay look at this for a, for a customs office beautiful cool very beautiful So now Nikos is going to take off the front wheel and then I'm not sure yet if he's going to give us that wheel and we go and change the tire in the next town or if he's going to put the new tire on and we see if we can do it all here at the border. Anyway, it looks like we've got a little bit of work to do. If we're gay, we pull her ass. Yes. Yep. Okay, okay. Okay, so we've managed to prop it up on this side with a bit of wood and prop it up on this side with a bit of wood and then we've got a couple of bits of wood underneath. So now we have just enough freedom that the tire can spin and that it can be taken off. inner tube has a hole but he's got new inner tubes Woo! yeah okay i hold yeah uh oh yes okay give us in the key no ay 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 screwdriver is really strong because it might bend straight away Finito! Just like new, hey? Good job, Nikos. Very good job. Vamanosa, Chile, hey? Let's go to Chile. Welcome, Chile. <laughs> On the move again. Well, that was a bit of a longer border crossing than we were expecting hey <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely it's really good that he was able to uh, change a tire good on your nikos yeah, very job. very cool let's hope that the tire will be fine now yeah oh nice ah Damak! cool Yeah, woohoo! Bienvenidos a la Chile! And this time, for the first time, we had no contraband! Woohoo! They didn't confiscate anything from us. But bad news, it looks like the tyre repair has a little bit of an issue um, because Nikos says that the front wheel is kind of bouncing up and down a bit so it looks like the inner tube or the outer is kind of not in exactly the right position so I don't know how that's going to go for him but um, I think we may have to look for uh, a tyre shop in the next town and um, then they can maybe just refit that tyre properly but at least we can ride there at the moment without the flat tyre and get there and we'll see what we can do over there okay so we've arrived here in the next town and Nikos is just asking this mechanics here if they can do anything for us hola ah proxima okay Whoa, is this the day for volcanoes or what? <laughs> There's another one! Whee! Look at that one! Yeah, it looks epic! And it's crazy guys because this volcano in front, which is called Villa Rica, is actually an active volcano. If you look on the top, you can see that like uh, smoke is coming out. Oh, that's crazy! How epic is that? Oh man, I would love to live here! 
just in front of the volcano and watch it all day long. Look at it, hey, beautiful. Okay, so it looks like we've run out of options for today. Uh, there doesn't seem to be um, anywhere in this town where we can get Nikos' style looked at. But we've searched and there's a bunch of mechanics in the next town called Villa Rica. Uh, but they won't open until tomorrow morning. So we've decided to have a camp, call it a day, and uh, we'll head to that town tomorrow get the bike sorted and be on our way. But this wild camp that we're going to head to now that we found on iOverlander looks really really cool from the pictures. So if it does work out I am super excited because there's volcano views! Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> wow it's absolutely epic views from here. Yeah we're getting closer to the volcano! Villa Rica! Very cool. That is absolutely an amazing road. <laughs> wow. So impressed. And the wild camp is apparently one mile further up the road, so even closer to the volcano. Wow. Epic. Oh my god, I love volcanoes. <laughs> you can see the smoke coming out the top. <laughs> so we just went through a pretty difficult patch and look up ahead, it's like pretty sandy, like volcanic sand. And also after that patch, we sort of lost Nikos. I can't see him behind anymore. I think I can get up there, no problem. But I mean, at the moment, Nikos is not coming. Okay, so Nikos has reappeared. So we're gonna try and go up here, see how we get on. Yep. Whoo, that's good. Okay, half a mile to the camp. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Yes, after quite a struggle up this road, unexpected struggle up this road, we have made it to this little spot right here in between the trees and look at the view that we've got in front of us. Yes, we are going to be camping in view of an active volcano. It's unbelievable pretty amazing. I still can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so happy at the end that we actually did the detour and that we actually went uh, to Chile and avoided all the way up through Argentina. Yeah, I did not expect this crazy volcano landscapes to come up. So <laughs> it was really unexpected, but absolutely awesome. Yeah, wow. It was a really hectic day, a really stressful day. A lot of things went wrong, but at the end of the day, we are here now, which is absolutely amazing. And we have just to build up the camp and start some cooking. But yeah, we will have a good night here. And wake up tomorrow with an amazing view. And then we'll head to the mechanic. <laughs> So that's it from us today. We did at the end 140 miles and we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And also we have the membership program going. So if you really, really like our videos, then you can join and click the button below. Yeah. <laughs> and we will see you next time. These guys uh, who just parked up next to us to camp here for the night. Uh, they were flying a drone around, so I went and asked them, oh, can you send us some footage of the drone because both our drones are broken? And then he said, oh, you can just fly it around if you want, get whatever shots you like. So we did. <laughs>
Muchas gracias. Yeah. <laughs>